Smartwatches allow us to perform short interactions throughout our daily lives, but there are many scenarios where interacting with touchscreens is not possible because one or both of our hands is occupied. In our interactions with objects in the world around us, we solve this problem in clever ways, such as using our feet or the back of our hands. Why can't we interact with smartwatches in a similar way? In this paper, we investigate the space of no-handed interaction with smartwatches for scenarios where one or both of the hands are otherwise engaged. To start, we developed a taxonomy of scenarios in which smartwatch input is constrained. Based on our taxonomy, we identified a set of opportunities for no-handed interaction techniques and implemented a set of example techniques that use taps of the foot, quick forearm movements using the watch worn hand, or the non-watch hand, swiping gestures on the arm or nearby surfaces, blowing across the smartwatch screen, bouncing the entire body, or using custom objects placed in the environment. We then conducted two studies to gain insights into the range of alternative interaction techniques for no-handed interaction. First, we conducted an online survey to gain quick feedback on the acceptability of interaction techniques in a range of scenarios. Then we conducted a laboratory study which simulated a range of no-handed interaction scenarios, including cooking, driving, carrying a large box, soldering, covertly interacting during a meeting, playing the piano, and waiting for a bus with mittens on. 